Hi, I'm Flo from Wildchain, and in my last video, I shared seven key lessons that I learned from the game Pentiment about creating a stunning game art style. Today, I'm excited to show you how those same lessons influenced our big decision to shift from a 2D to a 2.5D uh, art style in our play to impact game Wild Chain. First, I'll explain what 2.5D is and then why we made the change and how I think it enhances both the gameplay and the overall experience of our game. Let's dive in. Let's start with what 2.5D means. So you have heard of 2D and you, you know what 3D is. Um, well, 2.5D is a blend of both. Uh, so in 2.5D, some characters and environments might be in 3D and other elements such as the background might be in 2D. A great example for this is a game called Trine 4. And um, in Trine 4, the characters move on a flat 2D plane, um, but the world feels actually very deep and immersive thanks to some of the 3D elements like the characters. That creates the illusion of depth um, while keeping the gameplay simple. Now, the first lesson was to match the art style of the game to the theme and the tone of the game. So our mission at Wild Chain revolves all around protecting endangered species and raising funds for conservation. So we wanted the art style to, on the one hand, capture the, the beauty of wildlife, and on the other hand, show the urgency of conservation. While our 2D art was charming, it didn't fully capture the complexity of nature. Animals couldn't move around freely, and the world felt quite static. With 2.5D, we were able to create lifelike animations. We were able to allow animals to roam freely and explore the habitats. And that really made the sanctuary feel a lot more alive. And I think that could, in the end, help to improve the emotional bond between players and the animals. We also needed the art style to fit our core gameplay. Now in Wild Chain, you're hatching endangered species out of magic eggs, you're adopting endangered species, you're um, reviving habitats, you're unlocking more areas in your sanctuary, you're um, beautifying and decorating your very own wildlife sanctuary. But in 2D, these interactions felt very limited and static. Uh, now with 2.5D, animals could move around more naturally, the sanctuary decoration becomes a lot more immersive and more fun. And players can now really create environments that feel more like a real ecosystem. Arstel also plays a huge role in storytelling, especially in a game like Wild Chain, because every animal in uh, Wild Chain represents a real endangered species and you, you can actually create real world impact. So the art style should help to reinforce our, our story and our mission and what we want to communicate. And um, I think the 2D art style really helped us to, to build environments that feel like living habitats. And that helps us to tell the story and to spread our message of conservation and the importance of preserving uh, biodiversity. Now, balancing resources like time and budget is key when choosing an art style. While our 2D art style was manageable for our small team, we also wanted to have more depth and more immersion. And we knew that 3D could give us that, but it, a full 3D game would have required complex modeling, rigging, texturing, especially for a game like ours. And that's why 2.5D was the perfect middle ground for us. It gave us uh, the depth and the immersion we wanted, but then they didn't have the same technical demands like a full 3D games, allowing to, to keep us the game dynamic while staying within our constraints of a small indie team. Now, a distinctive style helps every game to stand out, and we wanted Wild Chain's visual identity to be instantly recognizable. So, for us, the biggest challenge was to find the right balance between 
realism and cuteness. Most games either lean into cartoonish visuals, very simplified, very cutesy, or they go for the opposite, they go for hyper realism. And I think what Wild Chain makes unique is our ability to combine those two things. On the one hand, our animals look lifelike and they have enough detail, but they're also cute and approachable, so which helps players to connect emotionally. And I think this gives Wild Chain a recognizable identity. Now, our shift from 2D to 2.5D came mainly from internal testing. As we played early builds, we realized that the 2D wasn't delivering really the immersion we wanted. And um, the testing showed us that the game needed more depth and to bring the environments and animals to life. And that's when we experimented with 2.5D and we immediately saw that it made the game feel more dynamic, more engaging, and then we kept refining it um, to ensure that the new art style not only looked great, but also enhanced uh, the gameplay. So those are the seven reasons that guided our decision to switch from 2D to 2.5D in Wild Chain. I think this change was great. I think it added a lot more depth and immersion, always staying true to our conservation mission as well. And yeah, I'm just really excited to, to see where it takes us. Also, don't forget to join our Discord community. You can share your thoughts there. You can connect with other players and you can help us test the alpha version of Wild Chain. The link is in the description below. Thanks so much for watching and I see you next time.